Hi everyone, this is Mark. Uh, thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. Um, so I believe that um, good things come out of everything. Um, the reason I say that is because a couple of weeks ago I posted a video where I opened um, this particular box set. The Elvis, The Other Side's Worldwide Gold War Hits Volume 2. It was sealed, it had you know the bonuses, uh, the swatch, of Elvis's clothing, the bonus poster. And I proceeded to open it um, and it had the poster. The vinyl was in beautiful shape. Um, the poster was bent in a couple places and there was no swatch. So um, I had a lot of people reach out. Oh, so sorry, that's a bummer. And it is what it is. Um, it happens. I don't know if you know somebody had um, gotten it, opened it, tried to seal it back up and then sell it. I don't think the person who sold it to me did that only because um, I got it from selling from Discogs who had a very high seller rating, but who knows? But I wasn't too upset. I mean, it was a bummer, but I wasn't like losing sleep over it. So the reason for this video, um, I believe there's always a happy ending to every story. Hopefully, and I'll tell you why. So um, I had I had the, the volume two and I never had the Elvis Worldwide 50 Gold Award Hits volume one. This is that. And uh, so I'll be doing this live. So regardless of what happens, hopefully the video comes out well. But um, long story short, um, I looked for volume one. And I saw it, you know, looked for a, wanted a, a new sealed copy. Supposedly in volume one, there is um, a copy of the tour book that was going on uh, at the time that these albums came out. So... Um, I looked for it, I looked for it on eBay, and I saw, and, and the prices were all over the place. They were you know, $60, $70, $85, $150, just for this one volume. So I looked, and I saw one where somebody had, I think it was $88 or best offer. I pulled it up, and there's multiple pictures in the description. So as I'm looking through, there's this volume sealed, but then it goes to show pictures of this volume. So I made an offer. And uh, so I got it for, you know, uh, shipping included. Guy accepted it. So basically, in a nutshell, I got two brand new copies of this. Uh, this one I've seen for as high as $175 to $200. If it's, a, if it's a mint, unopened, brand new original first press with the swatch and the poster, I've seen it go for almost $200. Like I said, this one ranges from anywhere. I've seen it as low as $60, and I've seen it as high as $125. But I ended up getting them both with the offer. I, actually, I take that back. It was, I think it was $90, $94 or best offer. I offered like 80 some dollars, 88 bucks or something with free shipping. Got them both. So I got it for a great price. So in the description of uh, the person selling it, they said, oh, I bought this. I was an employee at a record store back in 1977. It was a month after Elvis had passed away. So uh, Elvis's uh, records were selling like crazy, obviously, because he had just passed. He said, I used my uh, employee discount and um, got, got it, got it for, for cheaper. And he enclosed the receipt. So this is the receipt. I don't know if you can say it, but it's called Cornell Campus Store. You can see the date. It's 9 16, 1977, you see that right there. So it was exactly one month to the day after Elvis had passed away, because of course he passed away on August 16th. So he paid for the two of them, I guess with tax. Oh, he bought, looks like he bought a couple other things, but uh, the total with tax was like $49.16. So he included this when he shipped it to me, which I thought was cool, which he said he would do. So what we're gonna quickly do is open to both these. Like I said, these are sealed. You can see the st sticker on it. Our price, $22.97. So you can see that uh, it is a little bit of a tear here. So uh, we're going to open this real quick and see what we have. So, and hopefully uh, everything's intact. I have a feeling this is going to have a little bit better result than the uh, the last one. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to open it holding the phone. So bear with me. I'll be right back. All right. So I am back. I just opened this. So we're going to take the lid off of this. I don't know if I can get it off. So bear with me here. So and there is the 
first album. Hopefully you guys can still hear me okay. The stuff is packed in here pretty good, so we'll put this here. And there's the next one. There's that. Oh my word. Yeah, I guess it didn't come with I guess it didn't come with a uh book and I had, I had always heard that it came with a book and maybe this was a later pressing maybe this was not the original pressing it didn't say anything no advertisement on it to have it so it's just the records and of course it's the just open it it's the I think it's the tan label yeah it is the tan label and beautiful mono so you can tell the records are that that's just dusty you see there I just got to clean them but you know, the vinyl is really, really nice and shiny. So I'm going to pause it again, and then we're going to open volume two and hope I get better results with that. So bear with me. All right, so I am back. So it's kind of it's kind of awkward holding the phone like that. So I'm just going to open this um, again. It has the uh, hold on the big, large, full color pull out poster reproduction of Elvis, and then of course this says something from Elvis's wardrobe for you. So I got burned the last time, so I, my fingers are seriously crossed that I get a better result this time around. So you can see me I'm open this. Now this has the store sticker on it, so if, it, if it's not in here, I will be very surprised. So I'm just going to put this down. Bear with me for a second. <clears throat> These lids, I think it's been sealed for so many years. <laughs> Right off the very get-go. This was on top. There we go. So, something for Elvis's wardrobe for you. And that was right on top. RCA Records. We will take it out. So, I'm happy. I, I, I think the first one, because I know I, I read where the first volumes of the uh, Volume 1 set came with, like, uh, a reproduction of the tour book that would have come out back then. So, yeah, this is the, the swatch, kind of like a green... Swatch, so I'm really happy about that. So this one, this one's legit. This one was never touched. This was never open. So 50 plus years later, the poster's also right on top. Looks to be in perfect, perfect shape. No bends, no folds, as you can see. I'll open that. Uh, so sincerely, Elvis. So that, hold that back. So there's the poster in perfect, perfect shape. So I am happy. So that being said, I am not going to, I'll show you the top record, but I'm not going to go through all four records. I did that in my last video amongst the disappointment of not getting the, what I was supposed to get, but uh, here's the Elvis. Let's see, and this is, that's also the tan on mono. So is that. Um, but the one thing I am noticing which I find odd is in the last one, um, it showed his records. The second, the next um, sleeve had his tapes. The next one had his eight tracks. I think in the fourth one showed reel to reel. These are all the same, all four of them. The sleeves are the same. So, hey, I, I don't care. That, that means nothing to me. I don't really care that much. I'm glad it was a first press. I'm glad I got my swatch. I'm glad I got my mint poster. I'm glad that I was the first one opening it 51 years later. That's what I was happy about that I got the swatch of Elvis's clothing, the poster. So there you go. So yeah, this one, this one had a much happier ending. So I'm very, very pleased about that. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you like my content, I've tried it like I'm trying to get to where I'm consistent putting up, uh, posting two videos a week. Um, but if you like the content, uh, please do like and subscribe. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Um, hope your weather's good there. It's uh, it's still a little chilly here in Delaware. It's starting to warm up a little bit. It should another week and a half, two weeks. It should start seeing a low 70s, mid 70s weather. Uh, but I hope all of you are well and are uh, doing well. Um, and until next time. You all have a great rest of your day. Take care.